In almost all software projects, we need some kind of consistency that we need to agree upon as a team. For example, how to name certain stuff, how to use certain function, how to use certain paradigms and similar stuff. And one of the cool ways to maintain and enforce this consistency is through linting. Salam alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shafir Yunus. In this video, we are going to explore one of the best static analyzers out there for Kotlin projects. Let's get started. So in this video, we are going to explore consist which is consistency, okay? But for Kotlin, this is a multi-platform Kotlin library. You can use it for your Android project. We are going to demonstrate some of this in our Android project, all right? So this library is one of the coolest libraries. In Android, for example, we have the normal Android rules, right? You can write your own rules, but it is a little bit hard to write certain rules, right? There is also Katelint, there is Detect, like this kind of libraries a lot for enforcing certain rules we need to maintain in our project, okay? But Consist is a little bit different. First, Consist is a multi-platform library as compared to others, right? And also it performs and it works on the Kotlin for source code, right? It doesn't work on the bytecode as opposed to other libraries. And you will notice their API and the way to write it is very cool. So we are going to write tests. So the test API is very good. And with this test, we can ensure and reinforce the rules. Okay, let's take, for example, small examples. For example, here is a consist rule that tells that every use case that is ending with use case, for example, will need to be part of the domain.use case. Okay. So awesome, as part of running the test in the CI, in your project and everything, right? We are going to reinforce this rule so people won't dump their use cases everywhere, for example. Okay, we are going to start writing a unit test. Here I'm using the now in Android, I'm just going to run some experiments. Now, where to write those tests, this is up to you. I created a specific consist test uh, module, right? I will use it to reinforce everything here in this module because we have a lot of modules. You can put them in the, the place you want, but uh, here, for example, this is the same as linting. This is custom lint, for example. This is test method detector, for example. You can notice that it requires a little bit of understanding of the framework about Android linting, right? But and also, but the beauty about it is that it offers you real-time, for example, code analysis. When you are working, you will see a red line, you will see like uh, composed lens, for example, or uh, similar lens. So this is awesome if you know how to write things. It works with this PSI program structure interface tree, something like that. Like it works with tree and it has many, many things. Like this is an awesome library, but it's a little bit complex to start with as opposed to code tests, for example. So as I said, so I'm writing this code test here in this part of the project as specific module. Make sure only to add this library here you need to add the, the consist library of course i'm adding this library this is the version and the dependency right so right now we can after you sync the project we can go here and start writing the test okay so it's simple test i just added the one edit okay so let's create a test for example it will check that all of my view models and actually with view model okay so this is part of the consistency and agreement with the team all right so i will test it for example view model for example, or I can, like, this is up to you on how to structure those tests, okay? I can make it Android test, for example, Android consist test, right? And simply, I will try to write a test function. Ensure that all of view models and with view model, okay? This is test, for example. Now, how consist work? Like, this is, I'm showing you the example so you can understand how it works. First, you need to get a scope. A scope is where you are going to apply this rule. Okay. Are you going to apply it for the whole project? Are you going to apply it for this module only or for this data store module only? So it depends on you. So this is defining the scope. So first we need to define the scope. So uh, we call it consist. Okay. And then there is scope. Just to just add scope and you will see the different things. There is from module, for example, you can apply many modules. You can go to project. You can go to specific package, for example. Like this is awesome can go normal module from file, from test, from production, I think. This production, if you go to this production, actually you can uh, read it. It actually does not include its source, which test does not start with or end with test, okay? So this is the, the thing. For me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do from project. So this project will include everything, okay? Now, what you will get from project, you will need to get files, right? So this is dependent on you. Here you can get files, you can get Imports, you want to see all the imports. Uh, you can get packages, you can get annotations, you can get classes, for example, functions, uh, interfaces, I think even uh, aliases. Aliases maybe at the beginning. 
I don't type aliases yet. It, it is here. Okay. Objects, uh, properties, like it, it, it's pretty awesome. For me, what I'm going to get, I'm going to get all the classes. Okay. Here there is properties, include nested classes, for example, include uh, local uh, also classes. So uh, this thing. You can do for the beginning, print, for example, if you want to check, if you want just to check how the scope looks like, because sometimes you maybe want to confirm that I'm actually in the database, for example, here it will print for me everything. And that's the beauty. It is just a simple test, all right? Actually, some people like a uh, live linting, for example, so it is dependent on you. So here you will notice that all those files I'm getting, navigation tests, this test, main activity, main activity VM, exactly this thing I want to test. There is view model here, as you can see, and there is main activity VM. I need to see that my test will fail for this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do for classes, I want to check how do I confirm that this is a view model. If it's uh, extend from view model, right? Beauty is that they have many things. You can do with, and you will see all of the things. With annotation, for example, with constructor, with name. For me, it is called with view part. Like after experimenting with this library, you will notice what are all the options you have. There is with all parents of, exactly. I will go for my view model class like follow. Okay, of course you can run the test, to confirm that uh, it is the right thing. It's getting all the view models. Exactly, these are all my view models. Now after getting them, you can start asserting. They start uh, assert true that this property is true. And what you will get here, you will get the co-class declaration. It means you are getting the classes for every classes here. Okay, for the classes, you have the name, you have uh, kdoc, you have, for example, has test, has test. Actually, it was deprecated. So for example, I want to confirm that every class in my uh, project has some kind of test. Okay, this is a little bit uh, weird because not every class should have test, but at least some group of files or some group of classes that are that has some cohesion, they have this. But actually, you can do that. You can check it has this, for example. For, for example, for every view model, I want to see if, if uh, there is a test. For example, I can make sure that ensure all view models. And you can group, as I said, view models, uh, view models consist of rules here, for example. So it, the grouping will depend on you. So this is for the test, okay? What I want to do, I want to do the name. It, for example, the name, that's the beauty I'm telling you. See this method, it has name and degree. This is the test API I was talking about. They do have many uh, functions that will help you in the in this test, okay? So here is a thing, I'm going to tell it, please, it should end with view model, okay? Now, if I run all the tests, okay? Not all of them are passing, okay? Assert uh, view model was violated. Exactly where? It will tell you for this one, for activity VM and activity VM model. So I can go here, for example, beauty is that I can click on on it directly and F6, I will rename it. View model, I can rerun it one more time and now it should pass. The first challenge should pass, the second should it pass. Exactly. Now we don't have tests for this class, for example. So this, as I said, will be dependent on you. Now you can do also, for example, you can check it has specific annotation. Usually with the view models, we need to have the annotation at here to view model. Sometimes we forget that and we don't do that until we run the application. Usually at the moment of testing, Dagger will notice that, but this is just an example. All right, so here you can extract this scope to, uh, for example, VM scope, like that. And okay, what's that? Okay, yeah, I'm going to take that from here and going to do val VM scope, like following. So I can reuse it across here, for example, and also here, just to make my test look much better. Okay, so this is one of the coolest libraries that made linting easier and understandable like that. Okay, so that's all the three rules. Just make sure you are getting this correctly. You get first the, the scope and then you get the things you want to perform the analysis on. And then you can filter certain stuff with parents. As I said, just press the width here and you will notice like, for example, with name, ending or starting, containing, for example, you can match whatever you like and then you can perform uh, the, the assertion. Let's see some other, let's see another example. I'm going to delete this one for the moment. So this is another example from the, the project they are showcasing, All right? So what you can do, for example, you can confirm that there is no import of certain class. For example, they are checking the locket, right? I don't want 
in my project to use the log, log the normal Android duty locket, right? I want to use Timber, for example. So I can write that test, for example. I can add function. This is one example. Actually, you can't put the comma here. All right. So this is the same thing that this would apply to all the files, right? So it's not for view windows only. So you can go back, consist and scope from project, for example. And here I'm searching for all the files, right? You will get co-file declaration. And here we are going to assert something. So what I'm going to assert, you need to think about the test, of course. I'm going to assert that there is no import. There is no import of Android detail something. Okay, so it is assert false, right? And here we are searching for if it has certain imports, right? Import like the following, but I'm searching for this one, right? Okay, this one was deprecated. Returns true if there is any import, I know. But this will be removed in this one. If you pass no argument, replace it with has import with name. Okay, it has report with name. Import with name. And here I'm searching. Of course, you need to know the import. I think it's Android detail.log, right? We can run this test. And the problem is that we have this kind of imports in our project. So you see the test failing. So you can go to the thing. Exactly. It's failing. For example, this is the first one, Jet Snack module here. There is some kind of import for this one. Here is the import. So you can go here, fix it. Where is the problem? Okay, this is an import for nothing. Exactly. You can go here, replace it with timber, for example, if you are working with timber or other stuff. And then you can rerun the test to make sure, like, it's a lot of places. But as you can see, this library, the way it works, is one of the coolest things that happened for the Android or the Kotlin community. So this is it. If you want to check more examples, like this is just an introductory for this library, I try always when I find something useful and I think this is useful also for you. I try to share it. Simple stuff on how it works and how to use it in your uh, projects. So check the documentation. Well, documentation it has many things. Just go, for example, you can go to declaration filtering and here you will notice many things, right? As I said, you can filter out many things of the object interfaces and stuff like that. And for the assertions, you can assert many stuff. It has public modifier. All interfaces need to have public modifier. For example, it has the annotation of inject. All right, that's awesome, for example. Sometimes you tend to forget that. But since Dagger is compile time stuff, this is actually solved. But other stuff are not solved immediately. OK, assert that no file is empty, for example. OK, this one will check if class is empty. Sometimes you need that, but you will need it in the reverse way, that there is no class is empty in our project. OK, not empty, of course. Test name, you can add additional messages. This uh, thing is awesome. You can also check uh, architecture assertion that there is dependency between modules, for example. No feature model depend on other feature model, for example. Or, or you can do it the other way. No, the domain model doesn't depend on uh, other stuff, on other modules. So this is uh, up to you, of course. Like assert architecture from the project. And as you can see, they are defining some layers, presentation data. All right, and then there is this depend on, like this is very awesome thing. Of course, at the beginning, you are not going to depend on this one, but as the team grow, for example, new members are added, like people sometimes make some pitfalls and you don't notice that, for example, the code review, right? But with this kind of tests are going to ensure that you are catching everything. The tests are taking some little time to run. So that's a problem because they're scanning everything, but even the time is actually good if you check it actually, Two seconds, or like two seconds too much. Imagine having, for example, 500 tests of these in your, in your project, like 500 is the normal thing with the, this consist. Okay, so try to make sure also to do this kind of filtering wisely, right? Because you reduce the amount of thing that this will happen to you, okay? So of course, this will increase the speed of uh, the consist. You can also suppress, like that's a good thing. If you have a test and you want to suppress it for specific stuff, you can just add suppress consist everything, exactly the name of the test. Here. Uh, also, I don't know if there is project yet. Yeah, the project here, as it uh, as I said, it works with normal JUnit. Oh, okay, I forget that. It works with JUnit 5, 4, and also KO test. We made a video about KO test. Just check it in, our pro in this thing. And here there is snippets. Okay, that's awesome. This is the snippets I've been uh, take, taking from. For example, you can check this is packages in our notation, like somewhere in the middle, the end or start, there is ext, for example. Files in ext package must have a name ending in ext, ext for extension, for example. This is a cool one. Uh, all declared properties are defined in the constructor. 
that's also a cool one actually like this will happen with data class but other class also you can define this uh, thing every class has tests we saw that previously but as i said it's not uh, feasible for some classes because as we said we try to group certain uh, files and test them together this is stylistic part properties are declared before functions uh, every construct parameter has a name derived from parameter type like you can get inspir inspiration from this thing for example no empty file is allowed this is the thing we talked about it all right like this is awesome stuff just check it here they are also having uh this is clean architecture specific snippets for use cases for layers uh for operators that are using the invoke okay so this is just inspiration you can check it this is snippets for the test like also to make your test uh consistent this is specific JUnit stuff okay this class with test annotation should have test suffix that's fine test classes should have test subject named sat this is also uh, fine but this is consistency after after all these are just some conventions you make with your team and then you try to reinforce it with this kind of tools all right so that's pretty much it for this video there is this lovely advanced section it has advanced stuff like isolating consist test uh, running dynamic consist test like for every because like like that it's problematic right we are dumping everything in one single thing but you can kind of expand this to multiple tests i think it's easier to do it if you check it here dynamic test exactly this one this one is failing so you can have that it's running for all of those but only for this one is failing so the way to do it is through flat map or something like that exactly with flat map you can do it like that okay this dynamic test you need to add this dynamic test because for everything you get you need to do that with the stream with the normal stream so that's pretty much it just check this advanced section it contains lovely stuff and go also here to writing the test there is specific uh filtering and assertion to to check okay that's pretty much for this video thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you find this library so valuable thank you very much and see you in the next videos Salam alaikum.